Right folks, good morning. Good morning, very frosty today. Now I'm on defrosting the car on duty today. Okay, I've got to defrost my car and I've also got to defrost Rosie's because she's going to work. The only thing is, folks, look. I can't get into Rosie's car, man. It's totally, totally frozen. Just let me double check, I haven't locked it. No, that's it, I just can't get into a car. It's frozen, absolutely frozen solid. Mine was okay. Oh, just to know more. But yeah, the cars are all totally frozen. So, I'm just gonna defrost Rosie's and ice it up. Uh, ice it up. Um, get my super icer, my super super scraper. There it is, folks. We're gonna chip away at Rosie's car. Hopefully, we'll be able to get in the door soon. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Yes, let's see what's in the back of Rosie's car. So, we? Well, we have lots of bags, bloody loads of bags. Look, Got some onion rings and. Salted cashew nuts there, I love them. Lots of crisps, some roasting foil and some Christmas paper. And some sort of cake stuff in here, loads of bags and stuff. Well, there you go, that's Rosie's uh, boot. <laughs> I compare that to what's in Jags, a boot. Well, we have lots of coats and things and boots and wellies and sat hands and well and no. Uh, Umbrellas and poles, starting cables. So, there you go. My boot compared to Rosie's. <laughs> well, folks, well, here I am cleaning the mud from, oh, right from my shoes that we had. Remember, on that mud infested thing that we were looking at on, on Monday, was it? Yep. So, I'm just cleaning the mud off. Now it seems to come up okay actually, it's not too bad. Not as bad as what I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's still was horrific. That mud sinking into the mud, man, goodness me. And bro, sitting in his car with the heater on, listening to music while I'm running around with my feet in the ground up to their lowest rock. They look totally caked in the mud, it was. Anyway. Right, folks, well, listen, my most of the doors were, were, were sealed shut. Well, I don't think it were, folks. I think I made a bit of a mess of it. The keypad on Rosie's thing is the other way around. The lock, the unlock, sorry, is on the top. So I've been pressing that, the bottom one there, to get them to open, whereas that is actually a lock. So that's why the word, I've been pressing that one. What a, what a fool, man. Fool, boy. Anyway. I'm not going to tell those, you know. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Right, folks, I've decided what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to Hobbycraft and I'm going to go get some Fimo. Yes, Fimo, folks. And we're going to go and make some, I don't know what we're going to make, but we'll make something, man. Right, folks, we're here. We're going into Hobbycraft. Now, my friend Claire works in Hobbycraft, so hopefully she'll be there. We'll have to have a little yap with her. You never know, might even get some discount, folks. Yes, because I think Fimo is quite expensive. It's like £2 a block, so I've decided I'm just going to get uh, some white, red, yellow, blue, you know, the primary colours kind of thing. That's what we're going to get today. I think, anyway. Right, folks, well, after all that, I'm afraid it's not going to get any because it was £2.50 a block, and I've seen it online for something like, uh, you know, half the price, man. So we're just going to get it online, I think. And, uh, yeah, £2.50, man, that's quite expensive for... Anyway, so what we're going to do now, folks, is we're going to go and get some to eat and starve it. See these retail parks, man, they're not really designed for walking around, are they? The car's just flying around all over the place. I'm trying to get across the Burger King over here. <laughs> and it's like a, it's like the game Frogger. Do, do, I have to try and work out how to get across. Right, first we've got lunch. There we go. Now, um, 
just before I got in there, there's a bunch of kids came up on their bikes. I think I was in school, maybe on holiday, I don't know. Anyway, a big bunch of kids on their bikes. So actually, I ran, folks, I ran from out here <laughs> to the door and I got in there before they all got in. So there we go, got my lunch. Now, folks, I'm not sure what used to be behind me there, but it's, as you can see, it's closed. Now, I believe Toys R Us, they're going to close down as well shortly. So how long is it before we get the domino effect and they all start falling down, closing down, folks? How long is it? And this will just be an abandoned place, just like the technology park along further along the Kingsway here. I don't know, folks. I think very shortly this will be this will all be closed down. I hope not. But you know, these kind of things happen, don't they? I think Tesco over there, that'll keep everything alive though, I'm sure. So anyway. Well. Because he had all the car park to choose from. Just a quick stop here because there's a security man looking about. So this is the uh, Timex, old Timex factory here, where back in, I think it was the, the 80s or something, there was a massive demonstration and riot, and they made this, look at this nice little uh, Timex watch that actually took place here at Campbell factory in 1946 to 1983. My goodness me, it's a busy road, this one, quite a very noisy one. And uh, here's a little um, sort of mosaic. To, uh, to commemorate that. And then of course there was all the riots, well I don't know if there was riots, but there was some pretty bad scenes here of course when it closed down and you know scab, scab, scab was shouted at a lot of workers. Anyway, anyway that's all in the past now. One of these mosaics are based on real people, you know, whether they existed. Right, folks, I'm up here in the um, sort of Camperdown industrial area. Remember, I was here last week, but I was further down. Um, but this time, we're, we seem to be up in the in the northernmost part. But it's, it's strange sort of areas where there's there's like all these gated sort of places like this. There's nothing in them; it's just empty. And then there's a couple of vans, maybe like there's a van like just over there. There's no sign of any activity. So is it all? derelict up here all these site offices empty i don't know man are they still in operation a lot of them look seem to be like derelict and just abandoned but i don't know man I mean, look at these things you know like yeah, that's your site office okay right canteen that was <laughs> So here we are at the canteen of the Morris Leslie Group. That's closed, man, unfortunately. So this was the canteen. Over there we had the site office. Um, so once again, just total, total dereliction. Dereliction is that a word, folks? More evidence that I don't want to say Dundee's. Um, Sort of like it's supposed to be a, a, a growing city, Dundee, isn't it? You know, you've got all the, the new stuff getting built down at the uh, the front here, but away over at the opposite end of the city, it's just total dereliction, folks. Yes, I've now officially made dereliction a word. Right, this is it, folks. It's actually happening. I'm going to go and get a haircut. Yes, I was just driving around now. I thought, you know what, I've got nothing else to do, so let's just do it. Let's go and get couple of inches off the back and get it tidied up man come on let's do it let's do this oh, God, I'm scared folks get my hair cut I love my long hair but hey ho here we go this is for you mother now the girl who normally cuts my hair Jackie I don't know if she's working today or not I hope she is because she always she knows what I always come here and get me she knows what I want you know she likes she knows what I like kind of thing. So I hope she's in, I hope she's in. Come on, Jack, be there. Right, folks, there we go. Oh, no, look at me, oh, no. Right, see that bank behind me there, folks? That's the Royal Bank that's gone. That's going to be closing, folks, right? That's one of the, the branches that's been hit with the, the closure. And they're up in arms about it because this, is, this does everybody in the whole area, man, and beyond. I, come, I used to go there quite a lot, man. So they're up in arms about that one closing. So we've got some uh, 
Dax hair, hair wax. This is the washable stuff because I sometimes find the, the blue tin that I normally have, that sort of takes ages to wash out. So this one is washable. So hopefully we'll try it. Well, what do you think, folks? What do you think? What do you think? Look, it's just in its normal state at the minute, but um, it'll be fine once it gets washed and styled. It'll be fine. Right, folks, I've just been into to Baines to see Rosie and also to get a, a camel twist and I've got myself a mocha today but, they, but they've uh, they've sent me on a mission now since I went in there Rosie said oh Lorraine's Lorraine's the manager she, she's just bought a 30 litre pedal but they're only 12 quid up on Ashley go and get one for us Jack could you um for our recycling bin because we've got three bin well as you know you've seen them and we want something a little bit bigger because the rubbish is honestly for two people it piles up man so imagine if you had a family of three or four it must be a nightmare so we've got to go to Asda quickly and get this pedal in because they're selling out fast and they're only 12 quid they've been reduced. All right, folks, there we go. I managed to get one. There it is. Right, folks, folks, the right phones. <laughs> right, folks, now we are going into B&M. I'm just going to go look at the, the phone gadgets. That's what made me say phones there because I want to see what they've got. See if they've got anything uh, gadgety and that, you know, just a gadgety thing. Yes. Shout out to two chaps who just came up and said hello to me, DJ and Bobby. Nice to see you, man. Thanks for coming to say hello. Always like that. Excellent. Thank you. DJ and Bobby. They were actually the first to witness the Jag haircut. They saw it, man. They were quite shocked. Now, how long is it but before? But before. We're going to be <laughs> shutting down as well, folks. So how long is it but before? I've done that again, but before. <laughs> I've got a stutter. Oh, no. Now, folks, I'm not sure what used to be behind me there, but... A pedal bin or something for, um, for, I'll start that bit again, hang on. 